Hey everybody, welcome to the channel, or welcome back if you've been here before. Uh, today we're going to take a look at Toscano Factory Lab. So this is Pegaso. So this is a really, really uh, awesome company, another Italian company, as you can see the, the flag flying proudly there. Um, they're kind of like, uh, you know, SV, which we did in the last video. They have a very uh, unique way of processing their soaps, and it's a, it's a beautiful scent. So it's creamy, so it's got a really nice pliable texture, so you, can, you guys can pick that up there. So really, really nice. So uh, I don't know if you really call it a croak. It's, it's quite creamy. But uh, the way that they process these is they kind of do it uh, in separate batches or doughs, if you want to call it. So they do all of the oils in one particular fashion, and then they do all of the fats. Uh, so like your butters, your shea butter, and, and so forth, and then the oils, your olive oil. And they blend those in a separate saponification. So uh, basically how they put it all together. So they'll do those separately, bring those together, and then they do a very long extended heat processing of the two. It's very controlled over a duration of time. And then uh, basically put all this together. So really creating a, a, a really good artisan soap. Uh, so really, really great backstory to this company. If you're not familiar with them, I, I, I highly recommend looking into it. It's a really uh, cool process that they use. This is four ounces and uh, it goes for, I think it was $30. And uh, I actually have, uh, I picked it up at the Razor Company. I want to make sure I had the right place. So, uh, so smells on it. Let's get to scents. So enough about saponification. So really nice citrusy. Um, it's a really nice like Italian cologne. So you get a lot of, a lot of good citrus. You get a lot of nice floral in the back there. And then that kind of the rounding out is just like a nice little sandalwood or musky type scent in the back there. But just a, it's a really kind of cologne scent and uh, really it smells quite beautiful. Uh, great, great tub that they got here. And then you can see on here, they even put the lot number, which I think is really cool. So you're really seeing, you know, just how this is done. And it's a really great attention to detail. So uh, this looks fantastic. Very happy about that. The razor of choice today. Uh, this is another razor emporium that I picked up. So it's a 1958. Let me double check on that uh, just to be sure. I don't want to give you guys misinformation. It is a 1958 D2. Uh, this is the TV special Super Speed. So uh, what denotes it to the TV special is the way it's basically knurled on the handle. It's kind of like a elongated process that they use as far as the notching is concerned. But beautiful, beautiful job. Uh, and this is your standard TTO, non-adjustable. But uh, I, I mean, Razor Emporium, I really do give hats off to you guys. You do a great job on refinishing these beautiful antique razors. Uh, the mechanism, the handles, everything is just looks fantastic. This one is actually done in a rhodium. Uh, again, the, the one caveat to Razor Emporium, and God, I wish you guys would pull it together. It came in this bag. So... So D2, rhodium, uh, I just I don't get this. So $115 razor. So, you know, it's not like it's it's cheap. I mean, you know, by any fashion. Uh, and then they just throw it in the plastic bag. Don't get it. Razor itself, which is really what's important, is just absolutely beautiful. Uh, again, just, you know, super, super use of uh, the doors, ease of opening, closing. So uh, looking forward to that. Haven't used any of these as, as per usual. Uh, we're going to run through them, you know, first uh, right here. I was also able to pick up some of these on Etsy, which was a cool snag. So these are some nice blade, Gillette blade dispensers. So uh, I was like, man, you know, they saw these on here. Oh, yeah, the arrow is telling you which way to go. And how they took note to it. So really nice. And these are like, look brand new. The blades look really nice. Everything looks nice and clean on them. So uh, so really happy to pick these up. Like I said, on Etsy, I got quite a few. So maybe we'll do uh, one in a giveaway with some soap or something sometime. So uh, we'll see how that plays out. And then to use the brush, the brush we're using today is going to be the Samoak HD 730. And uh, I wanted to show you this because you see the plastic that that beautiful razor came in, right? So just a bag. And then you look at the way this is done. Beautiful box, nice little backstory. And then look at the way they cradled this in here. It's like laying its own little bed with its own little blanket. I mean, attention to detail, care, concern. Uh, Smoke, fantastic company out of Portugal. 
Uh, this is Silver Tip Badger. And this is their HD, like I said, 730. So beautiful. Uh, so you can see here, these are all handmade and they've been doing this for a long time. I, I think since the 50s. Um, beautiful, beautiful feel to it. So, you know, nice, nice backbone. Really awesome. Uh, you know, they, a lot of people use Smoke. They're, they're a great company. So I, I actually took the pics. Uh, you know, for, for the thumbnail, but I wanted to rewrap it the way it came just to show you guys the attention to detail, uh, you know, and how that plays out when you do something nice like that. Uh, let me get this in some hot water real quick. I've got the Beau Brumel bowl, you know, doing its thing. As always, I love that bowl. Uh, let me wet the face and uh, we'll kick this off. And we'll make it a pretty quick one today. All right, all right. And I'm going to do, uh, let's do this. Let's open this bad boy up. And I actually took one of these um, Gillettes and I actually loaded uh, an Astro Blade into it. You'd be surprised. It's not very difficult to do, to, to reuse these and load whatever blade you want into it. But I just was like, ah, oh, you know what? Let me do this and uh, we'll see how this, oh, there it goes. Uh, <laughs> a little bit of a flub. But um, so you can reload these to whatever blades you really want. Uh, they came with the Gillette Platinums, but uh, here's an Astra that I love using. Um, you know, this is a Superior Platinum. This one's got one use on it. And uh, as I've stated before, I, I like to use these for first time shaves and this is a first time shave. So uh, seated, nice, close it up, give it that nice little twist, get a little bit of blade overhang here, nothing, Nothing to write home about, but you do get a little bit, certainly nothing that would catch you on your face. So this isn't going to catch you by your nose or your ear, but when you are doing your lockup, you will feel a little bit there. So that's all that's just to denote that for you guys. Okay. Let's get to, oh my God, that smells so good. We'll add a little bit of water to the puck, but this guy's pretty soft. So I got a feeling it's going to, it's going to crank. So Let's get some of this. Oh yeah, that's that's really soft. That's really I like that. That's that's uh, so we'll get some of this in this bowl real quick, right quick. Hope you guys are doing well. Congrats to the winner of the last contest. Uh, that that was a uh, that was a lot of fun, and uh, you know, congrats on that SV Soap Cosmo. It's already out the door on its way to you. I already sent all the tracking and so forth. So uh, enjoy. That's a fantastic soap, that Cosmo. I'm going to put the additional into the brush directly. I always like to kind of not waste that little bit of residue there. The remnants, I should say. So here's what we took out. Uh, oh, that's nice. All right. Let's get this cranking. Been looking forward to this shave today. To really use a nice, good one. And uh, this Toscano Factory Lab, they, they've been around for, for a little bit here. Um, I don't see them much, you know, uh, here in the States. So uh, the fact that the, the razor company, you know, has them in, you know, in stock was fantastic. I, I jumped as soon as I saw that. I was just like, oh, wow. Beautiful, beautiful citrus coming out of this bowl. Uh, I, I tell you, when you look at the, the, the saponification process that they utilize to make the soaps, I, I, you know, I like to geek out on that. It's, I just find it very interesting. Um, adding a little bit more water. Uh, I, I just think you're going to do something, do it right, you know. And uh, yeah, come on. And this little brush boy, Smoke's doing its job. Let's, oh, let's get to it. This bowl, the heat that was stored in it, this marble Beau Brumel, literally came right out onto the brush, onto my face. I literally felt the heat in the lather. That's awesome. This is, like I said, and if I didn't, I apologize. It is really like a cologne, and um, it's beautiful. Oh, I feel so good. What an awesome brush. Smoke 730 HD. Getting it. 
But to give you an idea, the brush, it's like 78 bucks. Uh, so 78 bucks and it came, you know, in that beautiful little box all wrapped in its own little blanket, you know, and uh, $115 razor, vintage, 1958, super speed TV special in a bag. I don't get it, folks. I don't get it. But here she goes. Let's have at it. I do love these vintage Gillettes, though. That's really nice. These are very straightforward. Uh, they're, they're mild shaves. They made these... Um, Pardon the water. They, they made these, you know, for, for a pretty uh, good run, they had a good span, and uh, they were really designed to just kind of be that everyday shaver, you know, really well done, and but just ease of use and just uh, get the job done and, and uh, let you be on your way. And uh, I kid you not when I say that that soap is just providing the most beautiful scent and what I like to call the lather runway, it's a little audio, really nice. Uh, it is slick and just wonderful. The scent is just, woo, I love that nice citrusy scent. Really nice. Look at it. This thing is really doing a great job. No uh, blade feel at all. This is one of those ones where you just feel like, you know, you know you just go to town. It's uh, nice. It's extruding the lather through there. We're just getting going, but, you know, anybody doubting a Gillette, really? You know, these are fantastic. I love my Slim Adjustable. And uh, I saw this guy pop up at Razor Emporium. Uh, I think that they do a banging job with these revamps. That really, they, they really nail it. A little brush hair, but that makes sense. So the profile, again, beautiful. The citrus is all what you get up front. And then uh, you'll start to grab some of the uh, floral aspects and notes. Uh, and then you'll get that musky, beautiful at the end. And uh, they use all, I think it's like shea butter, coconut oil. I know it's olive oil. So beautiful oils and fats and uh, all natural. They are, um, they pride themselves on utilizing the finest materials. So it's one of the things that's uh, kind of like uh, one of their main practices is that they go out of their way to use the finest ingredients. So... They're a factory that wants to process it in a timely manner, not concerned. I mean, I'm sure they have some concerns as far as it can't go nuts and just, you know, take 10 years to put out a soap. But you get where I'm going. They like to really uh, put out a good product. They don't use any of the, um, sometimes they utilize, uh, soap manufacturers will use uh, these like basically preset pellets. They're like little pellets that are already uh, pre-designed and pre-fabricated, uh, and they'll add those into their soaps. And that's not going to be found here. This is all just, you know, straight up natural. And uh, like I said, it's basically two different types of doughs or batters, if you want to call it, uh, put together. So, you know, I'm geeking out on the soap a bit, but, you know, I do enjoy that. Uh, scent is bananas. It's just completely awesome. I do love that, that razor. I mean, look at that. I mean, really, honestly, I mean, I could just hit a few spots right now and uh, we could call it a day and I could say, hey, go enjoy my Saturday evening. Um, I've got good three days of growth that I had on here and uh, I showered a couple of hours ago. Uh, so it did a fantastic job. Not that I would expect a Gillette not to. So let's be, let's be real on that. I mean, <laughs> But look at this. Come on now, people. Mm. 
So, huge fan of this company, and uh, I'm sure there'll be more reviews forthcoming of their products. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's a that's a really nice feel right there. Hmm. Wow. literally hanging off me all right let's go cross town traffic and uh like i said i wasn't gonna take too much time today oh that's nice i want to try to make it a little bit expedient for your guys viewing pleasure so you're not sitting here watching let me shave for a half hour oh that's really nice there you go extrude away 1958. Bringing it home. The little dispenser is really cool too. I was very happy to grab those. And you get some cool little stuff on Etsy every once in a while. And like I said, I was fortunate enough to grab five. So um, we'll do a little. I'd like to do another movie trivia. If you guys, um, if you guys want to do that, let me know in the comments. If you'd like to have one of those tossed in with a nice soap on the next giveaway, uh, we could set that up. If you like the dispensers and you think it's something cool to have in your arsenal of shaving accoutrement. Breeze is great. And I'm going to try one of those Gillette Platinums that it came with, uh, that those dispensers came with next time. But first shave, I like to do the Astra. Oh, really nice. Really nice. Gosh, it's so fantastic. I tell you, I really am starting to get more into the uh, cologne basis. Oh, that's nice. It's a nice size, too. Let me see. Um, here's the 62 Slim Adjustable. So there you go. So I'll give you this way, give you this way. So uh, <laughs> nice little guy. So and doing a bang up job. Soap in the air, not too bad. All right, let's do cleanup. Guys, this was uh, this is a nice, really, uh, really seriously. This is a nice little shave. Great job, Razor Emporium, once again. Please, for the love of God, stop sending them in plastic bags. I mean, honestly, it's really just such like, sacrilege to such a beautiful razor. Um, but boom, let me cold rinse. And then we'll have to shave this. Booyaka shot. I'm going to hit this with Parasso. Might as well keep it Italian, right? Let's go. Oh, that's nice. See, and that's, uh, you know, that's such a nice mild smell that that's not going to play off my soap, which, as I've said before, I like to smell the soap. I like to enjoy it for the day. Uh, wow. <whistles> nice shave. Nice. Really wonderful, wonderful. The, these the items all play together very very well. Let me give you the uh, nice soap shot and uh, ooh brush is awesome by the way. The smoke there you go. So look at oh man look at that texture. I mean oh it, it's really nice. It's and if you like a soft you know like I said it's almost like a cream. Um, you know, it's, it's, this is fantastic. Wow. So, um, it's a very soft, soft soap. Um, so, uh, I, which I don't mind. I, you know, I mean, you know, they, they, they lather up, sorry about the walk. They rather up, they lather up very nice. So, uh, that's it guys. There, there you have it. You know, let's, uh, let's, let's wrap it up. That is a wrap. There you go. Pegaso. Toscano Factory Lab. Beautiful job, beautiful job, wonderful soap. And then we got our little 
Super Speed 1952 TV commercial. Really, the, the texturing on here was fantastic. Uh, beautiful shave, wonderful. And then the Smoke HD, you, you guys know. And uh, just for a little honorable mention, mention love my Bobramel bowl. Guys, that's it. So uh, please like, subscribe, do your thing. But you know, the most important thing is to be well and stay safe and stay strong. I'll catch you on the next one. We've got plenty more coming. Be good.